It is a pilot project, just like some of the other things that we're doing this year. I would hope and expect, given the fact, go back to my original remarks, the budget is strong, the city is economically healthy. If this works, it will be in the mayor's proposed budget for ongoing funding next year and likely at a larger amount. Because what we're trying to do with this or anything else that we're dealing with in homelessness and housing is find things that work, find things that are cost effective, take them to scale with, in this case, some new partners with new ideas. It's not hard to envision uh, some community backlash for a homeless drop-off area in someone's neighborhood. We see stuff like this all the time. Have you guys found land? Have you identified land? Have you talked to neighbors? Have yeah, that, that mythical location where people would welcome, say, R2-D2 or a, uh, or a day storage facility is still elusive, but we think locating one of these, uh, one of these day storage facilities under the Burnside Bridge is doable and will be accepted uh, by folks in the neighborhood, and likewise in the Central East Side. I think from my conversations with folks both in Old Town and Central East Side, you know, any reasonable person is going to acknowledge that we already have a lot of street homelessness in both places. Having some place for people to leave their cart or leave their things or use a restroom is better than the status quo. It's not good permanent housing, but it's better than the status quo. So we're going to keep moving by increments towards a place where people have sanitation and habitation rather than neither, which we again have a lot of in both parts of the central city. Are there going to be some people who will object to anything having to do with homelessness coming to their neighborhood? Yes, but no good deed will go unpunished. So have you